Okay. Okay, one thing I need to say first. Uh, it looks a lot wetter than the Singapore version. I don't know why. It looks so moist and wet and oily. Which part of Sarawak? We are in Kuching Miao. Okay. Hey. We're here. <laughs> first, I would say overseas trip of the year. Uh, 2014. 2014? Okay, so first trip of 2024. Today we are at Sarawak Kuchin. I've never been to this part of Malaysia, okay? We've been to JV, we've been to KL. This is like the first time here. And today we've got Megan here as well, okay? Okay, we are we're looking to film two videos, maybe three, okay? We'll see what happens. Okay, so Ryan came a couple of months back. Uh, I've seen some of his videos. Pretty fun, so this is our turn now. We have such a big team, our small team. We're just here, we're gonna eat through everything. You're excited? Or? You haven't yes. been to Sarawak, bro? No, I've never. I've actually not really traveled around Malaysia that like okay. that much. Okay. First day, uh, we had to eat the most iconic, like our pinging trip like that. But the other time, the first day we had chak kway yeah. Okay. In Sarawak Kuching, right? I asked many people. Okay, there are a couple of things that must eat one: Sarawak laksa, hollow oh. mee, and uh, kway chap. Okay, yeah. this three, okay? So today we are hitting Kolo Mi first. She'll be vlogging as well. So uh, some footages are exclusive will be in the channel. Okay, so but anyways, we're gonna hit there first, hit to our hotel. This is a very new hotel that we are heading to. They just started operating like two months ago. Oh, so it should be a very okay, new okay, hotel. Okay. Very exclusive scoop. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we're here at Sheraton. Sheraton and Kuching. Sheraton Kuching, I think that's the name of this hotel. Very lovely place. Very new place. Actually, they they, they are soft launch now. I think um, by the time this video is up, you guys can actually book this hotel already. I'm very excited. I'm, we're gonna go check our rooms and I'm gonna show you guys a bit more before we head over to the challenge. Let's go. Okay. So uh, before we head out for the first Kolo Mi challenge, uh, I just want to share something because uh, you guys already know I've been using Zenium for the longest time. I'm using their aligners and then after that I'm, I'm stuck to their retainers. Okay, so quick one, I really want to share how much they evolved over the past couple of years. Initially back then when I first started the treatment, right, I can only shift or align the front couple of keys. I think eight. But now, right, they can align all the way to the back, which is a lot more effective. Very happy to see how much they evolved for the years. Oh, you get an additional 100 loss off or something. Okay, so right now we're gonna head over to eat some Kolomi. I'll see you guys at the location. Okay, so we are at this Kolomi store. I tell you, it's just right by the roadside. Uh. There is nothing much. Uh. It's like somebody else's house, you walk in and you eat kolo mi. Uh. They don't even have a signboard. It's called Kung Fu Noodle. Okay, so very small space. 30 years ago, uh, they are not even, they don't even have this space. 30 years ago, they are at the roadside. Uh. Why do you call this Kung Fu Noodle? Why do you call this Kung Fu Noodle? Why do you call this Kung Fu Noodle? Because my husband called Taekwondo. He's from Okay. Then, then, then. Then, then, then. Then, then, so oh, so you just want to make it? Yes, so they just want to make it. So your Kung Fu Mian and the other Kung Fu Mian is different? It's different. It's different. It's different. It's still very limited seats. Uh. It's like less than five tables in there. Oh, okay. And their house, their house is behind. They made their own noodles there, just now I walked past. Oh, oh, dog. dog. Okay, okay, don't, don't shoot dog, come on, shoot me. Uh, shoot, shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> okay, so this 
those are called Mio, okay? Ah, uh, seems a bit different, a little bit different from the Singapore ones. I think the ones here, the mince, I'm not sure it's pork or chicken. The mince meat right here, right? Seems like it's more chunkier than just mince meat puree. A uh, few pieces of char siu and everything. I am just very curious to taste how is the blend like, the sauce blend inside. Okay, it looks like a very simple, very plain bowl of noodle, okay? But you see how this tastes. Okay, so Megan is here as well. Uh, she's doing her little vlog here. <laughs> uh, we might her up as well. So later, because my table very hard to squeeze two person. Okay. Okay, one thing I need to say first. Uh, it looks a lot wetter than the Singapore version. I don't know why. It looks so moist and wet and oily. As compared to Singapore, it looks dry. Okay, here, right, the troublesome part is I need to keep flagging off the flies because the flies are non stop. Because it's kind of street side, roadside environment is like that. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can't get more authentic than this. Okay. So they have a bunch of variation uh, when it comes to the noodle. You can pick the this kind of like Nipo kind of version or the typical um, thinner noodles. Uh, okay? I wouldn't call it Miki, uh, it doesn't look like Miki. Uh. Not spicy at all. Mega not spicy. Right? Yeah, not spicy meat actually. You want chili? Uh, no, no, later. Not spicy at all. Um, very, very tasty. Uh, I like the... They added some sort of vinegar into the blend. So it's a little bit salty, a little bit vinegary. Very, very different from the Kolomi you taste in Singapore. The noodles are really good. Chewy. Oh, it's so good though. It's really very, very good. Not dry at all. Not dry at all. This one, uh, guys. Initially, I thought it was pork, but it's not. Uh. This is chicken. Okay, uh, minced up. Yeah, minced up chicken. Braised. It's not minced, uh. it's not minced, right? Okay, not really minced. Uh. Okay, chopped up. Yeah, chopped, chopped up. up pieces of chicken um, that is braised very nicely. Right. Yeah, I feel like it's not just like salty. It tastes, it tastes a little bit like briny almost. Yeah, 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 it right? is. <laughs> what is that? Pick up life? No. Oh, hi. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Uh, it's really packed to the very, very, like, you know, the bones that overfilling. Uh. And they really give you a lot of the, the braised chicken or like, I don't know what. Uh, it's like some sort of like, loo. They, they, they braise it, like, it feels as if. How more like this is like $2? I don't think you can find it anywhere in Singapore. The owner said that a bowl of gold meat in Singapore is like $12. We sold for real, that's like six times the price. <laughs> it's like very tasty. Not good. Uh. The auntie very cute. She said if it's too dry, add a bit of soup. Not dry at all. Um, I think what makes this noodle very compelling right, is the fact that they added their own homemade uh, onion oil, the chong yu, you know. Scallion oil. Yeah, scallion oil. Yeah, correct. Okay, look at the, just look at the, how, how it sort of like saturate all that noodle. I want one. Hello, Mimi. Hello. I want one, but I want the different noodles, the, the thinner one. Oh, you want to try something else? There are other variations. Oh, anything, anything. You want to I want the soup also. You try mine first. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I actually prefer the Mikia for the first time. Yeah, you, you, I, I think Kolomi must eat with Mikia. Oh, it's very good. I'm enjoying it a bit too much. Really. Wow. 
I return you your soup. Megan returning me my soup. <laughs> yes, borrow. I eat few. Right. Honestly, the wonton soup, right? Well, not much flavor. It's I like want... a good palate cleanser, I feel. Yeah. It's just like nothing much really. I'm, I'm just gonna try one then. Well, nice dog. One night is very light. But I assume nothing much on it. I tell you one thing. Uh, each bowl, right? The dry weight is 300 grams. I don't know how much liquid they pour inside. Why do you show them how packed it is? Okay, they added uh, a lot of the fried up garlic, which is very, very nice. Okay, not, it's not. I don't remember any stalls, any Kolomi store I added this. And then, right? What am I supposed to say? Uh? <laughs> right now, right, I'm no longer picking Mipo. Uh. Or is this kind of like the the, the like meat kind of kind of. Because uh, I don't know why. This is my first time, right? I'm pref I, I prefer this kind of meat kind of over Mipo. Usually I want Mipo. Uh. Because this, this kind of somehow fills you up quicker. Yeah, but this one, I don't know, maybe it, it's able to suck up the sauce a bit better or like it's um you know, the texture goes better with all this wonton or all this like mince pork or something. <laughs> one out of 100. <laughs> okay, you guys. Now I'm gonna try the red version. Apparently, right, from what I understand, Kolo Me, there's three variations white, red, and black. Okay, this is the red one. The one that I had earlier, I think, is white or black. White. White, oh. Black. Right. Later, we try black. What's the difference? What's in the red? Oh. Red, they put a bit more of the char siu sauce. Ah, oh, and then the black? <coughs> The black more vinegary, oh, I think. Oh, I want to try the black one. I love vinegar. Here, a lot of ambulance. Mmm. Uh. Mm. The red one is good. Eh? Um, the red one, right? It tastes a bit more ketchupy. Uh, a bit more ketchupy, and then for some reason, right? The scallion oil, right, is more prominent in the red one. How? Oh, I haven't tried it. I'll try now. Oh yeah, second bowl. <laughs> hey, Megan, second bowl here. Yeah. But I want to try the black one. I love vinegar. <laughs> I realize you're Pong one, uh, guys. Okay, I'm gonna eat faster. Mm. You're not Pong already, you've got 400 grams. Eh. Hey, I eat one bite only. Can return you or not? Okay. Thank you. I want the black one. Then this bowl consider your one or one. So I eat one mouth only. One very small mouth. Chashu. Okay. I realized I didn't talk much about their chashu. Initially I thought their chashu would be dry as balls. But their chashu is very good. The pan fei pan so one, okay? Very tender. Seasoned perfectly. Um, yeah, it looks dry, but it's actually good. Well, the red one, right? Definitely a lot more balanced. No? The red is a bit too sweet for me. No. <laughs> Why are you object until like that? <laughs> I purposely <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope it doesn't. I'll, I'll end this before it rains. I'll end it before the wheel spin three times. No, it can't rain. We need to go eat after this. We need to go to the night market. Chen Chen, the red is not the same. The red is not the same. Oh. The black one is looks. Oh my god. It is, it is different from the white one and the red one. I can't really tell what's the difference. <laughs> No, not more vinegar. It doesn't taste more vinegary. I'm beginning to sweat already, because uh, this is not an easy challenge. What's your name? My name is Megan. Red is much more better. They all like to ask, you know, they all like to ask if we are together. Yeah, I, I can see now. We Someone are said, is he a together, la, together. We are in, together. Together, like that, as in. <laughs> Singers Inferno. <laughs> Have I passed 15 already? Oh, no wonder so strong. 
somebody say, if I cannot finish, just pass to Zermatt. Mm. <laughs> Zermatt is game. Is that 17 or 18 bowls? No. 18. 18. Wow, 18 bowls. Okay, you add mine, then become 20 already. No, add. Don't say I quit it. Oh my god, why are the sunglasses on? It's too intense already. No. Okay, the noodles are coming out fresh. Uh. Like, really fresh. So, um, it's actually very hot now. So I have to slow down a little bit. Oh, okay. So, man, I pass you one more bowl. I like the white one best. Oh. Jessica says he needs to stop. Why? Zermatt will never stop. Kung Fu owner must be happy. So many bowls are ordered. We are... How many bowls are? 18. 18. Okay, we have 18 bowls here. 19. 19. Uh, this one, I don't know if I consider this as one bowl because I'm making it halfway. No, I eat, I eat one bite only. Two bites. Wait, hiccups. You know, I realized one thing about their noodles also. It's very peppery. I, I think they added a bunch of white pepper inside. I, I don't know, like, after a while, like, you, you, you'll smell the... Not really smell, like, smell and taste the peppery undertone. Not the spicy kind, I'm not the spicy. The spicy only top. thing that I am a little bit sad is they don't have a special sambal or some sort of chili that they can yeah. add into the noodle. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, the green chili goes quite well. You want to try? Uh, yeah, give me a. Try a little bit. bit. Yeah. So they only have like some sort of green chili vinegar, but they don't have like a proper chili sauce. Can see the green chili? Okay. So now Zamet's trying it in green chili. I don't know why I keep smelling durian here. Hey, see, man, I have a whiff of it also. Yeah. I want to eat durian. Why do you smell durian here? Why do you smell durian here? Why do you smell durian here? Hey, you are! No, 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 Zero. Yeah, zero, zero. Uh, zero, uh, zero man. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. <laughs> they are both uh, usually not this size. Uh. This one is too small. Megan, 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 eat halfway. Then I never eat halfway, I eat two miles. <laughs> what are you asking? Young one, huh? Wow. Ah, wow. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> really, the noodle, right? Very customizable. Up to personal preference, okay? So, some individual will prefer the white one a bit more. Some individual will prefer the black one a bit more. Um, the black one is a bit more, I would say, saltier, um, sweeter, and then. Sweeter. Okay, because they added more dark soy sauce. Okay, so it, it, just think of a taste like that. The white one is the most neutral one. It's uh, a bit vinegary because there else they added a black vinegar, so a bit vinegary. Uh, the this one is ketchup peel. I don't know why today I'm I'm really enjoying this one a lot more. Somehow this goes yeah, char 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 sauce char yeah. No oh, char siu sauce. They corrected me, not the tomato sauce. Isn't it the same thing? What flavor is it? Oh, uh, it's Oh. Yeah. I want to try. It's a different flavor. I want to try. Can I have one more? One more yeah? Okay, okay, one more one. <laughs> mm. I want to say that. It's sweet and spicy. Uh. I definitely would not recommend the Sweet and sour. It's too. There's a thick like ketchupy sauce at the bottom, and it's too too rich. Really. Cannot. You know, after eating this many bowls, right, I realized something. I realized my favorite wonton noodle, which is the TT wonton noodle, right, is like a cross between this and wonton noodle. I was thinking why TT has that. This is like a combination of something else, see? not just wonton noodle. So I realized that actually, they actually have polo meat elements in it. 
which makes their noodles so special. Oh, Tao Ma. Megan. Yes. Logo Psyq. Yes. <laughs> Last bowl, yeah, but it's got this thing. Now my only concern is if this thing holds up or not. I don't think I can do 30, okay? I don't think I can do 30. 25 might be possible. 30 is, is too far of a stretch. Okay guys, this is my last bowl. I, I, I can't eh? This is my max, okay? Is that you? Oh. Okay, so we come to the end of this challenge. Oh, I have to say, this is, this one is... I, because the bowls, right, it's not the deep kind of bowls. So I sort of underestimated the thing a little bit. Auntie is very generous when it comes to the serving size and the amount of protein she gives, okay? She gives a lot of, a lot of char siu and a lot of the chicken chunks. Okay, those are really good. Very, very different experience as compared to the kolomi eaten in Singapore. This one focuses a lot on the, the scallion oil. And, uh, and also the topping. Everything just sort of comes together very nicely. Did this blew me away? Yes and no. It's not like Pingling Chagui Diao where I will fly back just to eat it. But this is definitely a good experience when you're here in Sarawak. Okay, but uh, we come to the end of this challenge. 25 bowls. Each bowl is, I don't know, 300 grams. Yeah, each bowl is 300 grams. I don't know, you guys do the math. But Megan, Megan, how, what do you think about Kolo? Hi. <laughs> how are we going to bowl? Hello. <laughs> what do you think about Kolobi? Um, I like it, but you're right. I like. I was more blown away by like the Penang Chakudel. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you really can't get anything like that. But in Singapore, maybe like there's something a bit similar, which like you know, like wonton mee. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still really yummy. It's and for me, my favorite is the white version. The white version because yeah. it's more vinegary. It's more vinegary. I feel like you can taste the like the taste of the noodles itself better. Yeah. And I feel like everything is a bit more like balanced. Whereas in the red one and the and the Black one, like you taste more of like the sauces itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I had to say lah, the, the white one got more depth lah. You get a taste of vinegar and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I personally, I like the red one because I don't know. I just feel like the red sauce right brings out the scallion oil flavor a lot more. There's, I don't know lah, but it's very subjective. You guys you gotta come, and, come and try yourself. Yeah. Then you leave in the comments which one you like. <laughs> this is not the only Kolobi store in in Sarawak, lah. Okay, there is many, many cool in the store. Okay, this one is kind of different because they have their own, they sort of make a little tweak, which they add a black vinegar. Okay, so uh, first day, we're not exactly done with the first day yet, but we see, we see if we got any, we're gonna film any more stuff, but if we were to film any more things, we're right, very distracted by the grasshopper at the back. <laughs> but if we were to film any more things, I'm pretty stuffed right now, but she still can eat. Okay, so it is gonna be in her vlog. Okay, yes. go and check out her vlog. Uh, in the description below. Yeah, link will be down in the description. <laughs> she she knows the drill. Yes, yeah, so he just ate twenty five kg, but I only ate like maybe twenty five bowls. I not twenty five kg. Twenty five kg, I die. No, no. Seven point five kg, like twenty five bowls, but I ate like maybe all together maybe two bowls. I was saving my stomach space. So, saving room for more food. Yeah, I can go second round. <laughs> uh, that's about this channel. Uh, <laughs> any more things see Megan's channel? Oh my god, food coma already. Everyone send your your strength to Zermatt. <laughs> okay, see ya! Oh. Mm. Whoa! Wow, leaning tower of pizza. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. What's wrong? Wait, what, what, what is it? I'm breathing is closing the lung. Wow. For one, for the real. Wish for power.